Hello everyone. Today we will learn some basic concepts about jurisprudence through some basic MCQs. So without wasting any time, let's start with it. The first question is who is a propounder of bracket theory of personality? Options are A. Baker B. Earring C. Savigny or D. Salmond The correct answer to this question is option B. That is, Earring is the propounder of bracket theory of personality. Next question is, who said that certainty of law is a legal myth? Options are A. Holmes B. Salmon C. Jeren Frank or D. Kelson The correct answer to this question is option C. That means Jeremy Frank said that certainty of law is a legal myth. The next question is, Salman distinguished between corporeal position and incorporeal position. According to him, corporeal position refers to which of the following? The options are A. Position of rights B. Position of physical objects C. Intention to possess rights or D. Intention to possess physical objects The correct answer to this question is option B. That is According to Salman, corporal possession means possession of a physical object. The next question is, who was the author of the province of the jurisprudence determined? Options are A. Dias, B. Salman, C. Kelsen, or D. Austin. The correct answer to this question is option B. That is, Austin was the author of the book, The Province of the Jurisprudence Determined. The next question is, who is the author of the famous book, The Concept of Law? The options are A. H. L. A. Hart B. Upendra Bakshi C. Austin or D. Kelsen The correct answer to this question is option A. That is, H. L. A. Hart is the author of the famous book, The Concept of Law. The next question is, the movement of progressive societies has hitherto been a movement from status to contract. This was stated by which of the following jurists? The options are A. Savigny B. Henry Main, C. Savigny and May, or D. Maitland. The correct answer to this question is option B. That is, Henry Main was a jurist who stated that the movement of the progressive societies was hitherto being a movement from status to contract. The next question is, who is the author of the famous book? Law in the Making. The options are A. Kelsen B. Upendra Bakshi C. Henry Main or D. C. K. Allen The correct answer to this question is option D. That is, C. K. Allen is the author of the famous book Law in the Making. The next question is, who used the social solidarity as a criteria for the validity of laws. The options are A. Dugwit B. Pound C. Earring or D. Kelsen The correct answer to this question is option A. That is, Dugwit used Dugwit was the one who used social solidarity as a criteria of the validity of the laws. Next question is Find out the odd man out among the following. The options are A. Savigny B. Pushta C. Hegel or D. Kornte 
The correct answer to this question is option D. That is, current thing is the odd man out amongst the following. The next question is Ignorantia facet X accuse at this legal maxim means what? The options are A. Ignorance of fact is no excuse. B. Ignorance of fact is excuse. C. Ex ignorance of law is no excuse. Or D. Ignorance of law is excuse. The correct answer to this question is option B. That is, ignorantia facet x accusat means ignorance of fact is an excuse, which can be used by any culprit or perpetrator in the court of law. The next question is American realist movement is a combination of which of the following? The options are A. Analytical positivists and the sociological approaches. B. Historical positivist and the sociological approaches. C. Natural law positivist and the historical approaches. Or D. Natural law positivist and the sociological approaches. The correct answer to this question is option A. That is, American realist movement is a combination of analytical positivist and a sociological approaches. The next question is, the nature of the Indian Penal Code is what? The options are A. It is a creative code. B. It is a consolidated code. C. It is a customary code. Or D. It is a refined code. The correct answer to this question is option A. That is, Indian Penal Code is a creative code. The next question is, who stated, a common law is essentially a judge-made law? The options are A. Holmes B. Blackstone C. Salmond or D. Pollock The correct answer to this question is option C. That is, Salmond was the one who stated that common law is essentially a judge-made law. The next question is, which theory of law is known as Vienna School of Legal Thought? The options are A. Natural School B. Philosophical Theory of Law C. Historical Theory of Law or D. Pure Theory of Law the correct answer to this question is option B. That is, the pure theory of law is known as the Vienna School of Legal Thought. The last question is, who is called the father of English jurisprudence? The options are A. Justice Holmes B. John Austin C. Kelsen or D. Earring The correct answer to this question is Option B, that is, John Austin is known as a father of English jurisprudence. Thank you for hearing the session and the presentation with such a concentration and hope. I hope that you learnt something from this presentation. Thank you.